back to the video. Uh, I thought we were gonna combine today, but it's starting to not look like it. Looks like we're gonna, we're gonna dig a, dig out a few more peanuts, and then possibly maybe tomorrow. Or I guess we'll see. Maybe we might start trying today. See what happens. I don't think I'll be there for that. I think so. my dad or my brother might just drive in like 30 feet or so just to get a moisture sample, just to, just to see kind of where we're at, and then might might go to go to town tomorrow on it but as for now i'm gonna head to the field gonna start digging out some more peanuts well, that's not good uh my uncle and my cousin they were here working on this field they were digging peanuts and it looks like my uncle just ran into a little bit of an issue uh just from what i could see down there on the right side something's pretty badly bent so we're gonna have to head back to the shop see if we can fix that and then Get back to digging peanuts. Yeah, it's kind of scraping there on the ground. That's why it's getting a little dustier on the right side, so you can't quite tell. But it looks like something's pretty badly bent. I don't know. I don't think you hit anything. I don't know what happened, but it looks pretty bad. Which the part that's bent, it's not on the digger itself. It's the little extra modifications that we made to it. We put some extra pieces of metal underneath the digger because we did plant on listed beds. I don't know if you remember watching any of those videos, but we planted on listed beds, so you know the rows are higher. So when two rows flip together, you know you have that valley in between the two rows. When you flip the two together, they're gonna be a little bit lower to the ground. And it's a little bit harder to pick them up with the combine. So we basically got, it's, it's like a V. There's two blades shoving dirt to the center to where the peanuts are sitting on a pile. So we manufactured that ourselves, just a little bit of welding and just some chains, chains to hold it up. So it's just, just helps to peanuts are sitting a little bit higher and then it's easier to harvest. So that, that's just what it looks like it's broken to me. That's just from what I can see. But I guess we'll head to the shop and see what's actually broken. So that's what it's supposed to look like. And then that's what it's looking like. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need a Bend these back. It looks like the bracket we welded on here in the middle looks like that's where it broke off. So, Eesh. someone didn't weld it good enough. I wonder who did it. it wasn't me. Just bending a few more things back, and then it should be good to go. We're fixed and ready to go. Yeah, now everything seems to be working good again. Oh, that was a little rollover right there. That's what happens when you usually go over a valley track. It seems to want to always do that. Don't know why. Might just be the type of dirt. Yeah, it seems to be working pretty good now. There's the valley track again. This is a little bit darker dirt instead of the more typical red soil that we have, but leaving a little bit more dirt on the peanuts than what we would like but for the rain chances in the future we just got to keep going uh, it'll be okay we might have to drive a little bit slower with the combine but it'll end up working out in the end and on to the next field which is actually just right here Well, it's official. We we started harvesting peanuts today. Unfortunately, I am not there right now. Uh, I got there's my dad and one of my younger brothers, and then we have two extra hired hands that we have this year, and then I believe my brother's there also. But anyways, they're they're harvesting peanuts right now. They said it was working pretty good. 
Uh, they said the yield was also really good. Uh, you don't really have a yield monitor on peanut combines. How we usually just judge it is how many baskets you can make full from one end of the field to the other end on a seven tower pivot. And currently we were able to make two full baskets and that's with unloading on the go. So that's quite a bit. Last year we had a field where we got, it was over 7,000 pounds per acre. I believe it was 7,400 give or take pounds per acre. And that was also unloading around, uh, it was, I think it was a little bit over two baskets on, from one end of the field to the other end. So I'm assuming we got close, we got over 6,000 pounds for sure. And, th and these are Virginias. I guess we'll see what the weight will actually be, but I'm pretty sure it's close to 6,000 pounds per acre. And if, th if that's the case, then I'm definitely happy with it. I'm excited. And one of these days, maybe I'll go over there and see how they're harvesting some peanuts. But for now, I'll probably will be stuck in the peanut digger for, for maybe a week or two or something like that, unless if someone else decides to take over for me. But uh, after this field, we got a little bit left on this half right here, which, which is what I'm doing right now. And then we gotta do that half of the field. And once that half of this field is done, we're gonna head, what is it, 30, 45, not 45 miles. Okay, that's about 30 miles closer back home. There we have, what is it? I think it's, might be a 180 acre piece. And but I believe that's the field we're digging next. So it's gonna be a late one today, trying to finish this and that half. And then I believe we'll just probably move to that next field tomorrow morning. And then, yeah, there's quite a few acres to start digging after that. So we'll definitely, we'll be busy for quite a while. Night digging. And this is the last little bit for me on this field. The other digger still needs to do a couple rounds yet. I can't really help him now because he already started the one layer and he got to finish that on his own. So now that I'm done here, I'm gonna park this back at the shop and then I guess head home. And then tomorrow morning we'll come back here and then we'll move to the next field. All right, we're at the next field. We're currently trying to figure out the right heading for it since we're not going circle track, as you can see. So now we're trying to find the right heading. We're also trying to dial it in again because we did not have listed beds on this field. So now we got to dig differently. As you can see, whenever we first started off, we might've had a little bit too much roots, but we're still trying to fix that issue also trying to get uh most of the dirt off of the peanuts so i think we got the right heading we did a little bit of searching trying to find the right one we have like one too many headings for the circle each track got a different one and trying to call everyone finding our other tractors wondering which is the right heading so i think the, the one that we have now is working or at least he said he hasn't had to shift over or anything yet so i think we're good on that part so I'm gonna head back to my tractor, see if I can get that one now dialed in, seeing if I need to change things. I might need to make my three-point hitch, the top arm. I forgot what it's called, it's on a swing arm. Anyways, the top arm, I might need to shorten it a little bit because that way, because this is flatter ground, I might need to get the digger to go a little bit further into the ground to actually want to go underneath. So it's on listed beds, the rows are, the peanuts are higher up, so you don't really need that. So, I'm uh, gonna probably drive in a little bit, see if I need to change some settings. Might have to, but we'll see what it looks like. Yeah, and so far working really good. Oh, the center link, that's what I meant. That's what I had to put shorter. I made that one round shorter and I lowered it like crazy. I made it, made it go way deeper than what I had it set yesterday. And now we're golden. The peanuts are actually flipping over way better than they did yesterday, especially at this field. I guess it's a little more sandy soil, not as not as tight, I guess. So the dirt is falling off the peanuts a little bit better and then they're flipping over better too. So this is looking really good. I'm really happy with this. This is doing a really, really good job. 
Yeah, every now and then. Well, actually, this field has a lot of tumbleweeds. It's not every now and then. It's actually quite often. These tumbleweeds, they're they're almost they're causing problems, is what they are. If you're wondering what's going on on that side of the field, is I have here a valley track on the right side right here. Since we are going circle track, it's going with the valley of the pivot, and so. Since that valley is there, it looks like the pivot kind of moved that last row further to the right. So now the row spacing are further apart. So now it can barely pick up that last row. So it's doing a terrible job on that side, but it is what it is. I can't really change it now. I already shifted my GPS over further to the right as much as I could, because now this side it's touching against that wall. So I can't really move further over that way. So it's gonna have to be okay with just this one pass like that. There might be a few more down the field that are like that, but it shouldn't be too bad. It's, it's only one row. But so far the peanuts are looking good. It's a little bit wetter on this north side here than it is over there on the south side. But overall, it's still looking really good. Digging peanuts. And look who came to visit. Hey, hey, say hi, say hi to the camera. You can be on, on your first YouTube video, how about that? Yeah, look. Yeah. <laughs> She's enjoying it though. She's amused by everything, that's for sure. By the way, this is my daughter, Brooklyn. Welcome her to the channel. Can you even get a happier baby? Doubt it. She's born a farmer. Well, this field's not quite done. Uh, I believe I need four more rounds, but after this field, which this is, I think, 180 acres, give or take. Anyways, after this field is done, we just have one more field left to dig, and then the rest of the the rest of the peanut fields are not quite ready yet, so we'll have to wait a wait a bit for that. So you know, it's not we're not in that much of a hurry to get it all done today. So we're just gonna call it a day. I mean, it is it is what is it? Yeah, it's it's one o'clock. So. We made a pretty good day, it's almost done, but we can easily finish the rest tomorrow if we wanted to, but that's going to be it for this video. I do appreciate y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all guys in the next one. Alright, now listen close. This right here is your throttle, okay? You got that and then this right here is how you set your speed okay yeah it's very simple and then this button right here you use to let down the peanut digger right yeah you understand